Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Lakshmi and you are watching the Health Talk session by Yashoda Hospitals. Significant progress has been made in both diagnostic and therapeutic interventions and in the way we perform endoscopy. Endoscopy technique is a minimally invasive technique to visualize our internal organs. So let's discuss about recent advancements in the field of endoscopy in medical gastroenterology in our today's episode. Let's welcome Dr. Kiran Peddi, consultant medical gastroenterologist from Yashoda Hospitals, Somaji Guda. Welcome to the program, Doctor. Hello everyone, thank you. So can you give us an insight of the role of endoscopy for some of the commonly digestive problems which we encounter on daily basis? Well, uh, thanks for the important question. Uh, endoscopy plays a very important and integral part of treatment of very uh, various digestive diseases. Endoscopy means looking inside the body. So whether it's looking into the food pipe, looking into the stomach, looking into the large intestine or small intestine, all of this constitute a, by a procedure called endoscopy. And previously, the endoscopy used to happen only in the upper GI tract or lower GI tract. But now, we can enter various parts of the body through endoscopy systems. For example, the liver is a major organ. Liver has got a lot of bile pipes where the bile is secreted into bile pipes and the bile comes into the small intestine. So these are tiny pipes we are talking about, uh, measuring about 3-4 millimeters. So we can imagine how thin they are. So even in this 3-4 millimeter, the diseases can come in, in the form of stones, in the form of cancer, in the form of some other blockages. So even in this 3 to 4 millimeters pipes, we can enter through endoscopic systems by ERCP or some other cholangioscopy or some other methods, where we can visualize these pipes and diagnose the condition and treat the condition at the same time as well. And in addition to that, we also uh, manage to access the enigmatic area which is a small intestine. So previously, even now, entering the small intestine can be a very daunting and challenging task. But with the advancements of endoscopy techniques, nowadays one can easily enter the small intestine and diagnose various conditions of the small intestine and treat the conditions at the same time. So by accessing any particular area, with the different accessories, with the instruments, one can treat any disease which is sitting in the food pipe or any part of the digestive tract. This is called therapeutic endoscopy. And for the first time ever, now we are able to visualize structures outside the lumen. That means endoscopy, as I said, looking inside the lumen. But now with the invention of endoscopic ultrasound, we can pass a, a, a scope attached with a camera or ultrasound machine which goes and sits in the lumen that is inside the digestive tract but the actual area we are looking at is outside the digestive tract. And in addition to that, the ERCP taken a step forward in the form of cholangioscopy. So if you look at the, the development of endoscopy as a technology, it started as a rigid fiber optic systems where only one person used to see into more of fiber optic, uh, more of uh, video endoscopy, flexible endoscopy accessing every part of the digestive tract we can think about. So the and from diagnosis into treatment as well. So in various aspects, lots of developments have happened. So what are the recent advancements in the field of endoscopy and how they have impacted in the medical field? Coming to the other area of advancements in endoscopy, one should talk about endoscopic ultrasound. So this is one technique where we visualize structures outside the digestive tract by keeping the scope within the digestive tract. For example, somebody with a pancreatic cancer or pancreatic mass, previously the biopsy used to be done under a CT guidance. That used to cause a lot of inconvenience to patients. Now with simple sedation, one can go down with endoscopic ultrasound, target the uh, tumor in the food pipe or food, uh, in the pancreas, can take samples and prove it's a cancer. This is called endoscopic ultrasound guided FNAC. Now, patients with acute pancreatitis, 
they can develop cystic fluid means fluid collection around the pancreas. So, that can be drained without surgery by endoscopic ultrasound where we put in a stent called cystogastrostomy. This is uh, a step ahead or therapeutic endoscopic ultrasound what we can call, call it. Now, with the advent of spiral enteroscopy where the small intestine can be reached and up to whatever the extent possible either through the mouth or through the anal canal and once the small intestine reach the enteroscopy will just go around the small intestine and reach the area of abnormality and then take a biopsy and come out. If there is any bleeding point in the small intestine we can treat at the same time. In addition to this there are certain newer technology or technical advancements have come up. One of those is called third space endoscopy where patient with achalasia cardia where the foot pipe and stomach junction becomes tight. Nowadays with the third space endoscopy techniques by name POEM we can enter the third space or the junction between the foot pipe and stomach, cut the layers and create a tunnel and get rid of the condition permanently. And in addition to that nowadays the bariatric procedures can be done by endoscopic systems. This is called endobariatrics area. So, likewise many areas have been kind of explored and invented and uh, the developments have been happening on a constant basis. Lot of research has been going on in the endoscopic area and I am glad to share that more to come in the near future. So, doctor similarly advances in endoscopic technology are shown to detect cancer in early stages. So, could you brief us about this role please? Right. So, uh, again the role of endoscopy in gastrointestinal cancers have taken a tremendous uh, uh, revolutionary role what we can say. So, the developments of endoscopy in GI cancers can be de divided into uh, four areas. One detection of standard cancers which means uh, by doing just a standard endoscopy taking biopsy from a tumor. The second is detection of early cancers. So, detection of early cancers can be done by uh, two techniques. One is a narrow band imaging uh, technology where the normal endoscopy just by click of a button we can look at the areas of the small intestine or the esophagus or colon where this a suspicious area is there. And other area is endoscopic ultrasound where by endoscopy the ultrasound machine is attached to the endoscope and we can reach that abnormal area, scan that area and see whether this kind of cancer is it superficial or is it deeper in nature. The third category is what we call uh, palliation, palliation of the cancers or treatment of the cancers. So, by doing that procedure patient quality of life can be enhanced though it is not a curative option, but the quality of life for these patients can be enhanced. So, by doing this kind of uh, uh, early diagnosis, standard diagnosis, palliation and taking tissue samples, the treatment of cancers have revolutionized by advent of uh, modern techniques of endoscopy. So, before ending this episode doctor, what message you would like to give to our audience out there as far as endoscopy in medical gastroenterology is concerned? Now, there are lots of myths about endoscopy techniques among um, common man, common people. So, uh, first of all I would like to reassure you that endoscopy is extremely safe procedure and of course, any procedure on human body rarely can have risks. But your consultant gastroenterologist will opt for endoscopy procedure only if the benefit is going to be better than or more than the risk involved. For example, by doing a, any particular procedure, if the risk is 5 percent but the benefit is 95 percent, we go ahead with the procedure. But on the other hand, some people may not be uh, suitable for endoscopic procedure. The risk may be 90 percent, the benefit may be 10 percent, in which case one will not go ahead with the endoscopic procedure. So, if the doctor advise that you go for a particular procedure, that means your doctor is perceived the benefit, the chance of you getting benefit is far more than causing any side effect or complication. So, and the, the, the second myth is endoscopy is very painful. Nowadays by doing a, what we call conscious sedation, by giving injection in the form of propofol, patient have very pleasant experience through endoscopy. So, patient does not even remember what exactly happened with the procedure. So, it is a short acting anesthesia, very safe, done by good, good by good anesthesiologist, done at a good center. These are very, very minimal risk procedures. Patient will have very comfortable journey and post-op recovery is very quick. Within 15-20 minutes, patient will be completely awake and he can have a normal day after that. 
but as i said not everyone is suitable for every kind of endoscopic procedure if certain patients are having uh, heart disease or lung disease they may not be suitable for advanced endoscopic procedure but selection of patient and selection of the disease is extremely important and i'm sure your gastroenterologist nearby will advise you the best way of going ahead and uh, uh, but do not get hesitant to undergo endoscopic procedure this is what my message is so thank you doctor for such an insightful episode on the topic endoscopy in medical gastroenterology and thank you for joining us thank you very much so this brings us to the end of this episode hope this episode was informative on the topic endoscopy in medical gastroenterology and do join us for the next week as well until then take care and stay healthy thank you